in your first meeting when you're taking over this team, you asked a simple question to the players. What was that? Well, I knew the answer to it, too, and, and um, I, I wanted them to, to kind of see it in reality, and I asked them, raise your hand if you've been on a winning Texas football team, and three people raised their hand, and I think that, that hit home as guys start to look around, and there's only literally three people in this giant team meeting room that have ever finished their season with a winning record at the University of Texas. I think it drove home the point that, guys, we've we got a lot of work ahead of us, and, and we've, we've got some dramatic changes that, that need to happen for us to achieve the things that, that we say we want to achieve. We also know that you're very creative in your strategy, right, of getting players to buy in. We've heard something about you using their breakfast as motivation. Can you explain yeah, what this I, is? I, and uh, you know, everything we do in our program is competitive, and I think the only way that you – I get asked all the time, well, how do you teach a, a team that's lost for three straight years? How do you teach them how to win? Because that is a learned skill. That, that's something that uh, you can learn to do and you can, uh, you can get better at it. But also, if you don't use it, you can lose it a little bit, too, like any other skill. And so the only way to do that is to compete. And we compete in everything we do from off-season conditioning to the, the classroom academically, uh, how who's the, the highest hour guy in terms of uh, volunteer hours, everything. And so everybody that wins is rewarded. There's a tangible reward for winning. And in the case of our, our winter off season, that's, you know, a, a fried chicken and waffle breakfast could be an omelet breakfast and, and the loser. There's a tangible consequence for losing. And it's probably going to be something like, you know, tap water and, and some powdered eggs and some burnt <laughs> sausage. And uh, so just because we, we have to make losing we have to, first of all, we have to make winning feel really good. Mm -hmm. And then we have to make losing feel really, really bad because that's what happens on Saturdays. And if, you, if losing doesn't feel bad, then it becomes easier and easier to accept.